How long will a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery run a 12 volt RV fridge? Three, two, one. Okay, the fridge is on and we're gonna run it until this battery dies. But we can't just have an empty fridge that's closed the whole time. At this point, the test was underway and everything was working beautifully. I just continued to use the fridge like I normally would on a camping trip. I just checked my battery monitor. We're sitting at 99% state of charge on the battery. The fridge is using about 50 watts and about one amp hour has been consumed. After three hours, the battery was still at 95% and it hadn't heated up at all. The fridge was hot where the compressor is, which is to be expected, and all the food was nice and cool on the inside. The hours started flying by, day turned to night, and after getting home, I did one final check before hitting the hay. Okay, we're past the 12 hour mark. We are sitting at, I already forgot what it was, 84% remaining battery capacity. Um, it's my bedtime. In the morning, the fridge was sitting at a crisp 34 degrees Fahrenheit, but I actually increased the temperature a few degrees because some of my food started to freeze. And soon after I started work, we hit the 24 hour mark and the battery was sitting at 73%. I wanna quickly give you a little behind the scenes of how I'm testing this. I've got a Victron battery monitor, which I've connected to the battery. It has Bluetooth, so I'm using the Victron app to monitor the battery. Uh, and that's about it. But wait, if you're extra perceptive, you saw in this first shot that the estimated time left was a little over a day. So why, after more than a day, is the battery still over two thirds charged? Well, the fridge isn't running at full power 100% of the time. In fact, a lot of the time it's not actively cooling. And during those stretches, it's using virtually no power at all. 36 hours in and the battery was still 60% charged. How long is it gonna last? On day three, we passed the 48 hour mark. The battery was still as cool as the other side of the pillow and it was only halfway discharged. This is wild. This is longer than I expected this battery to last. If you were using a lead acid battery, you would be done at this point. But I'm using a lithium iron phosphate battery, so we're draining this all the way to 0%. On day four, we hit the 72 hour mark and the battery was at 27%. Okay, wow, okay. <laughs> As we cross the 100 hour mark, I just wanna say your mileage will vary. I'd say the biggest difference between this test that I'm doing and you using one of these fridges in a van or an RV is generally it's been at room temperature most of the time. Obviously outside or in a vehicle, temperature swings can be much greater. One hundred and two hours and thirty five minutes. Wow. So the real sign of the end of this test was actually when the fridge entered low voltage cutoff as indicated by this error message on its screen. Nothing left to do now but charge this battery up again and do another test. Subscribe if you want to see more tests like this. And also let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for what you would like me to test against this battery.